hide by who cares and welcome to brit reviews and this week movies yeah i saw two movies this week which is ain't Womus and conaline 3d so we'll get started on my on ain't Womus, shall we as since i'm showing you know the cliffs of that now so before i talk about what i thought of ain't Alarmus. I tell the plot is quickly, of course, spoiler free. So, the movie is about a gang of people who got screwed over about, you know, their freedom virtually. So, they decided to get to escape the hellish working conditions by finding a, a band of sip. And basically, it get on it, and of course, you know, the aliens on it. So that all I go all I go give of the mo- of the plot. So what I thought of this movie, it's good. And it's good. I am made up that we finally got a very good alien movie because we all know this fan size. It's one probably one of the greatest sci-fi horrors of all time. That's how good the franchise is. And the problem is, we all know it got worse and worse since Aliens, you know, the second installment. And especially with the last couple of entries with uh, Prometheus and um, Convent, I remember, you know what I mean? Yeah, what had the franchise going to be? Ugh. But with this entry, it feels good. Again, there's one or two problems where I explain that bit in a second. The positive I got with this is the story. I think the story is so good. Yeah, I know people will say, but I used to do A and One again with, you know, a bunch of stuff on the spaceship. Yeah, but there's more to it. Like the open scene is so good. Like we got a bit more a will building of this world of alien and oh how fucked up it is with the living conditions and the way the pe- these people get screwed over, which I thought that was very smart. And then you got like, even the cars, like all the cars are very, very interesting. Like even the asshole ones is interesting too, you know what I mean? So again, it's good feeling that you go back to the original roots, but at the same time, it added a bit more spin to it in the same time. Now, the cast, fantastic. The cast is so fantastic. Especially in, what is the name? David Johnson, I think his name is. He is amazing this. Oh my God, he's going to be big. I seen him last year in, um, is it Wayne Wayne? How much film is it? Is it Wayne Wayne or something like that? It's like um, a romantic comedy. He was amazing in that. I tell you this now, he keeps this up, he's going to be a big star, because he is unbelievable in this movie, because he played uh, like an android, and also, God, if the forms in that movie, it's fantastic. Then you got, like, the soundtrack, Top Noss, it does feel like, like I said, the old alien movies. Then you got the effects, the effects is so good in this too. So, people don't say, what my problem with this movie I only got two problems. The first problem is um, there's a certain cameo in this. Feel a bit off putting, especially with a web behind the scenes that is probably AI. Again, if that's true, uh, you know what I mean? That's no subject. And the second problem, which to me is the biggest problem this movie suffers, is a handful of scenes um, feel choppy. Now, it's not all the scenes, it's like if I count it, it's like two scenes or three scenes max, where there's a scene where a gang of aliens is chasing, you know, the people, and what are you going to get them? And in split in a second, a mile away. I'm like, what the hell? That cut, that cut felt so weird. You know, again, it's not always through the movie, don't worry. It's like, one or two scenes. I'm guessing because it want to cut the time down. Maybe it probably go at least an extended cut. 
that probably fixed that probably. So I'm not being too hard on that because Ayn, as you know, is well known for the extended cuts, you know what I mean? So with that out of the way, I go want this movie. It's a 9 out of 10. It is a must see for a Ayn fan. And also, if you're new to the fan size, I think you can get into it easily. It's one of those ones that you can get into it easily. Seriously, watch this movie because this film is so fucking good. So, we'll get to my next review, shall we? It's a bit more lighthearted. Well, sort of. Connorine. 15th year anniversary. God, I feel old. Seriously, I feel old with this. Because I remember like yesterday just came out. I was, my mind was blown back then. And it's still blown now. That's how good this movie is. i be honest with you. This could be like a short review because. What I need to say about this movie. It is a masterpiece. It is gorgeous. The story is fantastic. The soundtrack is amazing. What can I say that no one else said? You know what I mean? Now, the only thing I can add to it is the 3D because hey, we released it in 3D. And yeah, it's fantastic. And also, after the credits, there's like, um, a piece of left on it. And that was good too. And yeah, we've got our first look of the next project, which looks gorgeous. Seriously, I cannot wait to see that. Looks fantastic. And yeah. I'm still shocked how good it looks still. And people say, what do you mean? Now, the way Aaron Nathan is, it can be dated, even though it are masterpiece ones. Like, for example, I know people might attack me for this, Toy Story 1. Now, I'm not attacking it, because yes, it changed Aaron into history, yet it's a good classic, it's a good story, good characters, blah, 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 blah. But it looks, what's it now? The Iron Nathan is dated. It is so dated. With, but meanwhile, with Chronoline, if this was released this year with all the Iron Nathan films, it will stand out because that's how good it looks. And that's because it's stop motion and it is still stands up after 15 years. That's how good this film is. It is gorgeous. You know, and about it is so good. And why is it before yet yeah, the 3D is good? And I know some film might stop showing it, but my film is showing it more because a lot of people are seeing it. Seriously, watch this movie on the big screen because it is an experience. Like, this is a thing I regret. I was young. I never saw Coraline on the big screen, I saw it on DVD. And now I made up, I saw this on a big screen because it is something else, you know what I mean? So if I want this movie, it's a 10 out of 10. It is a masterpiece. Seriously. Mwah. Beautiful film. So we'll get to my outro, shall we? So, yes, it's a bit odd doorbell because I showed these two films the same day. And, yeah, weird enough, the tone is almost the same. And I'll people say, wait a minute, what is a children's family movie? And what is about an alien ripping people apart? But I mean, like, the dark tone bit I meant. Obviously, alien's a lot more darker. But at the same time, I had a blast with this doorbell. And I saw two fantastic films. And, yeah, I had a blast with this. So, my question of the day is, what your thoughts on Alien along with? And also, if you saw Caroline in 3D, or if not, you know, if you saw it, you know, before that, what your thought on that too? Because I like to hear it in the comments below. So, this has been a bit who cares. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. See you on the next video.